Hey, 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 how are you? Um, I'm going to do a really quick tutorial here on how to nudge clips left and right. There's a, uh, a quick key command. Um, there's actually two. Um, if you're on a laptop, um, it's the comma key and the period key. And if you've got the full uh, full size keyboard on the numeric keypad side, there's the, the plus and the minus key. I'm on a laptop right now, so I'm just using these two. But um, that is the quickest way to move a clip left and right. And a quick note, it's going to nudge it based on what values you have set up here. Okay, so right now, I'm in minutes and seconds. I don't know why. But uh, usually you're in time code when you're you know working on film or TV. Um, and you're in bars and beats when you are working in music. So basic principles are the same. So first, let's say we are in, you know, we're working on a track. You're going to go over here and you're going to say the grid you want, you're going to want that to be in bars and beats. And then you're going to want to set your nudge value to um, bars and beats. So... And then over here, you're going to select, you know, whether you want it to be moving it by a quarter note, an eighth note, a sixteenth note. And if we zoom in here, right, I'm going to go ahead and nudge it using the plus key. And you see it's moving it by that value. If we want it to move by more, we can move it up by a whole half note. And you notice it moves it even more. Right now, uh, I'll show you the Simpty time code way. If you're in time code, usually um, I'm going to move this to time code. Usually, I like this to be set um, to one frame. For most purposes, one frame is all you really need. Um, some sometimes you you may want to go in subframes, but um, this generally tends to be good. Uh, there's also if you hit the M key, it's going to move it in. I believe it's increments of five, um, and then if you hit the uh, the question mark key, it'll do the same. So that is that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about that, but, um, yeah, it's a lot quicker than moving it with, you know, moving it, uh, by hand like this when you're trying to be exact. If you just want to move something over one frame, this is a lot quicker and a lot more precise. And that's how the pros do it, folks. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions regarding this. Uh, feel free to ask or comment in, in the comments below. And if this was helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always... Have a really great one wherever you are. Catch you on the next one. Take care.